I want your restaurant to become the community hub. Here's why. Hey everybody, my name is Ryan Gronf and I'm an author, speaker, chef, restaurateur, and I'm the founder of therestaurantboss.com as well as clickbacon.com. And I want your restaurant to become the community hub because community hubs attract people without too much effort at all. Let me explain what I mean by this and what a community hub is. Think about Facebook for a second. Facebook is a place that people go naturally every day to get all kinds of information, to, to get information, to share information, to chat with people, to see what's going on in the world. It's become something so natural to them. It's a hub, it's a place where they go to get a lot of other things done. Now, we all know that Facebook charges for advertising, but did they start by charging for advertising or did they build the hub first? Well, we also know the answer to that. They built a hub, they built a community where people come from all over the world at multiple times a day, one, two, 10, 100 times a day, and now they have earned the right to charge advertisers to share information with their users. Well, we can think of that the same way with like VRBO and Airbnb and Uber and all these places that are creating hubs for other places to do business. I always had the goal when we built our wine market and bistro to be the community hub. I wanted to be the place where people came, not just for food, but they came to meet people, to make memories, to form connections and bonds. I wanted it to be the place where the mayor would be sitting in one side of the dining room and a business person sitting on the other side and I could be the conduit connect them because I had the relationship with the mayor and I had the relationship with the business person and maybe I hear them saying, oh, that's the mayor over there. And I say, well, would you like me to introduce you? And I would check with the mayor if it's okay. And then I would introduce them. And now my restaurant became a hub. It became a place where people wanted to be doing business. People wanted to be seen. People wanted to be there. They wanted to be a part of the community. The food was secondary. That was the natural product. But the point is, is that if all you're doing is building a restaurant, it's too easy to compete with. Some new restaurant opens and takes some of your business. But if you build a community, if you build a hub where people come to meet other people, to make memories, to form bonds, to be a part of the greater community, the food is the easy part. So start thinking about a couple of ways that you could influence this idea and make your restaurant a little bit more of a community hub. What hobbies are you into? And can you invite your friends from those hobbies into your restaurant? Do you have a lot of business connections? Can you do business networking events in your restaurant? Are you a charitable person? What charities can you partnership and invite them in to have their events and their meetings and fundraisers at your restaurant? Restaurants are a lot more than just places to serve food. They're community hubs. The stronger you build a community, the stronger your restaurant will be. I hope you enjoyed this week's training and I look forward to bringing you another one next week. Have a wonderful day. Hey everybody, Ryan here. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Would you mind doing me three really quick favors? First, would you like this video? Wherever you're watching it, there'll be a button for you to go ahead and click and like the video and then leave a comment somewhere so I could answer your questions. Two, would you go ahead and subscribe to this channel? That way I can continually deliver you the newest updates every time I release a video. And then three, I'd like to give you something. If you're the kind of person who really wants to get ahead in life faster, I have a 90 day planner here that I'd like to give you. I use this planner every day in my business and actually I think this is one of the reasons why I'm able to get as much done as quickly and as efficiently as I'm able to. See, every year when I sit down to plan out my year, I sit down and I do four of these 90-day planners because I believe that we can't get as much done in a month as we think we can, but we can get a lot more done in three months than we think we can. And so I've developed a system, I call it my 90-day planner system, where you can achieve just about any goal you want in 90 days if you follow this. And I'd like to give it to you completely free, like I say. This is on my desk every single day and I use it in my business and I teach my clients how to use it and I'd like for you to have it for free. All you have to do is head over to therestaurantboss.com 
forward slash goal, G-O-A-L. Again, that's therestaurantboss.com forward slash goal. And then just give me your first name and email address and I'll send this right over to you, all four pages. Until the next time I see you, go out every day and improve the lives of your customers, your employees, your vendors, and of course, your family.